welcome to Lick My Spoon's Chinese White Cut Chicken with Scallion Ginger Oil. We will be making a dish that's very favorite of mine in Chinese New Year. Very simple. We're going to have a chicken, whole, scallions, garlic, ginger, sesame oil, and vegetable oil. I break it up into three parts. First, prepping the chicken. Second, boiling the chicken. And third, making the sauce. So to prep the chicken, it's quite easy. We take some salt and we liberally apply the salt on the outside of the chicken. I've done this before uh, a little bit. And you basically just want to cover the chicken whole like that. And let that sit for about an hour. Now we're going to prepare the jacuzzi for the chicken. We have garlic, cloves, and we have ginger. What I like to do is smash up the ginger and the garlic to release some of the, the aroma. And I usually stick a few of the cloves inside the chicken and then the rest of the cloves and the ginger in the boiling pot of water. We bring that to a boil, we bring the chicken over and we place the chicken breast side up in the jacuzzi bath. Once that comes to a boil we're going to lower the heat and let that go for about 30 minutes. So the chicken's taking a bath and we're going to prepare the sauce. It's really easy. There's three ingredients. Oil, scallions, and ginger. I like to have two different textures with the ginger. One, I use a vegetable peeler surprisingly and shave a bunch of, vegetable, uh, a bunch of the ginger shavings. And then I'll use that to mince it up. It makes it a little bit easier to cut up. And the next thing I'll do is use a microplane to put the, the next texture of ginger in. After that's in there, I'll chop up the scallions and then put in the oil, which is currently behind me heating up. ginger and the scallion uh, in the bowl, I add a teaspoon of salt and mix that in there. And the next thing we'll be adding is the steaming or the hot oil. You'll know the oil is ready when you see smoke coming up from the top. And you just stir that in there. Set that aside and wait for the chicken and that will be the sauce that goes on top of the chicken and the rice. The chicken's been sitting in there for about half an hour. We're going to turn it over. I usually use two chopsticks and go under the bird's wings like so. Let that sit for another 30 minutes. So now comes one of my favorite parts, cutting up the chicken. Don't be afraid, you can't really mess up. Um, what I've done is I've let the chicken dry out a little bit uh, on top of a grate. Like this. I've also put in an apron just in case there's some splashing. What I usually go first, I take a knife, make sure it's sharp. I cut uh, the legs first. And what you should do actually is get the chicken off the wire rack. Go for the thighs and cut at the bone right there. And it should come right off because the chicken's pretty loose right now. Grab the wings off. Then I go for the breast. That's really juicy and it's hot, so be careful. All right, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then usually what's left over, I just pick at it and eat. So then for presentation sake, double chicken breast. This looks so. And then we'll 
what we usually do is save the carcass for uh, froth or anything like that. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Thank you. Now I'm gonna eat. I'm hungry. Bye. Lick my spoon. <laughs>